Hi there, thanks for checking out our repair channel. Uh, this is going to be just a kind of an overview and show and tell of this kind of unit. This is a Ken Cove KF6000. At 6000, it's a six joule output. Uh, you can also use the Ken Cove remote control to uh, turn the energizer off from anywhere on the fence. Um, they also make a, um, I think a KF9000 and maybe a, a KF12000, I think maybe one of the other models. Uh, as well. They're very similar on how they operate. Just a few uh, differences on the inside. Um, so they're pretty slick. Uh, Ken Cove actually doesn't make this unit. This is actually made by a company called Power Wizard. Uh, they're the, uh, they make these private labeled units for Ken Cove, but the insides are just a, a Power Wizard unit or Dare is another brand. Uh, Dare is owned by the um, Power Wizard people as well. I think Agatronics is the actual the company name. They own all those different brands and make them and everything. But they make this unit for Ken Cove. Um, so if you've got one of these Ken Cove units, uh, this model or another model, uh, we'll be happy to take a look at it for you. I have helped out people in the past by getting them parts and letting them try to do the repair themselves. And I would say about 75% of the time, they're not getting the right, they're not, doing the repair right and they're installing the wrong part or they're installing the right part into it but it wasn't that actually wasn't what was bad there was something else bad that they didn't know and so then we have to you know try it again send them another part to try so i really hate playing guessing games with when people try to test things themselves unless you've got a meter that can test certain things it's almost best instead of playing the guessing game and guessing which part might be bad just to send it to us and let us do it here uh, i don't mind helping out people with parts but it's a little bit of an aggravation sometimes when we send a person the part to pay for the part get it there install it and we do a lot of troubleshooting over the phone but they don't have quite the right equipment to test everything uh, we can do a little bit with basic multimeters but that they don't have the a uh, certain type of multimeter to test other things it's it's crap shoot. So then we send them the part, and then it's not all that they need. Or their, or their part was good that they thought was bad, and it's something else that's not right. So, And then we're now we're back to square one again. So I would really highly recommend just sending us the unit instead of playing the guessing game and guessing which part might be bad because it's a flip of the coin sometimes. And then it's aggravating for me because then i got to do the, you know, send them the part, get, get the other part back, and then get them a credit and the whole nine yards. It's just a pain in the neck sometimes. So I don't, I, I don't mind helping, but it's just, uh, I would rather at times have the unit sent in to us instead of playing the guessing game. And then, cause then you're sitting there waiting, you're waiting a few days for the part to get there and it's not the right part. So then you send the part back or we send another part to try and you just wait another three or four days. And then, and then we might get it going then, or then the other part's bad, and this is part's good, and this and that, and they're sending parts back and forth. It's just a waste of time for both parties, me and the customer. So I'd rather just send it here, let me go through it, get it done right the first time, instead of playing these, waiting two, three weeks of back and forth, back and forth, to getting the right part and bad part and good part and this and that. So, but that's my two cents on on helping people with these parts and stuff, so... So if you're not sure, just send it in. All right, well, this thing is pretty basic. has a couple lights down here that flash and a light here that flashes. So we'll power it up. You can see units down there flashing. And then the units up top there flashing. All right, I'm going to turn off real quick and pull the knobs off. Power it back on. And we'll hook the fence. Ground wire up. Getting almost 7,000 volts out of it. And now we'll take a uh, screwdriver, a couple of them. We'll go across the fence and the ground. Get about a eighth inch apart or so. So 
So it shoots a nice healthy spark out of it. These Kenko slash Power Wizard units or Dare units aren't aren't a bad unit. They're um, especially for the money that you pay for one of these, you're getting a pretty good shock for the money, and you also can use a remote control, and it's low impedance. So that's another benefit of these things versus some of the old solid state stuff. Um, but check us out at fencerfixer.com. That's our website. I'll put a little link in the description that you can click on and take you right to our website. But we work on all brands, all ages of these things, uh, from the very old to the really new. And we give you free quotes and 18-month uh, repair warranties and everything that we work on. Like I said, if you've got one of these, I mean, you can pull it apart and uh, look around at it and play around with it all you want. But, it, you know, we can try to troubleshoot with you over the phone. But uh, the success rate of a customer doing the repair correctly the first time is like uh, 20%. So it's not maybe 30%. I mean, we'll troubleshoot with you, but... You know, if you don't have the right meter to test certain things, and we can do a little troubleshooting over the phone with what you've got there, but about 30% of the time, it's, you know, you guys get the wrong part, or we sent you the part that's good, and your part was actually good, and it's something else that's bad, and then we're, now we're playing the guessing game again, start, you know, starting all over again, so... And then sometimes those guys that do the try to do the work themselves will end up just sending us the part to or sending us the unit with that part that they bought, and then we'll end up doing the repair for them anyways. So uh, might as well save time to send it here. Let us go through it and do it right the first time instead of playing all these back and forth guessing games through either email or phone calls or whatever. But um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Want to subscribe to the channel? Subscribe. We'd be happy to for you to subscribe to the channel um but we like i said we work on all brands uh of all ages free estimates 18 month warranty uh fencerfixer.com is our website fencer and fixer both spell with an f is in frank and there will be a description down in the in the box below in the description area or link in the description box below but until we do another video of how to work on one or how one works or the features of a unit, we will see you guys later.